hello everyone samsung qn65q60raf so this samsung tv it turns on keep restarting so you can see the backlight is go on then goes off and here turns on then goes off You can see even it showed the the picture on the screen but it's go off. I hear the sound which works as well. Could be a backlight. So let's disconnect the power board from the main board. It's gonna tell us if the backlight is good. So this cable here I disconnected from the main board from the power board so the TV turns on the backlight renewed the maximum voltage so this is the maximum brightness that the LED can get and the LED is on it stay on so let me plug this one back I do have similar to this board with a different part number 65Q60 this is no it's the same yeah this board is the same as this board but, but this but this board it has a shirt in the aprons so already I removed this apron and I removed this apron, trying to figure out the shirt. But the shirt is still there. Like the TV that we did yesterday, it has a shorted processor. Yeah, is very low ohm here yeah it's about 9 8 ohm this apron here the source the 3 volt of the apron is from bed processor because they did put some voltage here in this board and none of the component is getting hot except the processor so i know this board is bad i took these two aprons and i'm going to install them here then uh, we see if that's going to fix the problem so I switched the aprons the aprons from this board I put them in the good board it didn't work yeah so I'm just going to put these aprons back. Yeah. And I will put the other aprons back. Yeah, in the good board. But the one is on the TV. Yes. So I just say try to figure out if it's the aprom issue. But it's not. So we're going to go to the next test and see if that's going to fix the problem. And I'm going to take just one cable from the LCD screen. Then turn it on. You can see now it stay on. Yeah, at the moment here from this test, the power board 100% is good. No problem with the power board. 
we still we don't know is it the screen or is the main board the issue because when I disconnect just one flex cable the TV stay on so let's do another test we're gonna plug this one and unplug this one here so I connect this one disconnect this one the TV turns on and it stay on no picture on the screen because the Samsung screen the 4k screens they work different it's not like the the 10 EDP if you unplug just half one of the flex cables you're gonna have half screen working that's why it doesn't work with the, the newer TVs so let's try to figure out why it's not uh, it doesn't stay on when we have the two cables plugged bring a piece of the tape and we cut it about like five six millimeter wide so that's the tape and we're gonna start covering the traces five by five so we start covering five by five this side then we cover five by five and we keep testing so first so we'll start with this side then we put it back and we test no it didn't work so let's uh, move the tape you can see that's the tape I put Then we move it again, a little bit, then we test. Same thing, it didn't work. And we go a little bit more. So this time, the TV turns on, it stay on, but we have uh, completely uh, no picture. So we keep moving a little by little till we see if we can get the picture and the TV stay on. Hold on, hold on. I changed the apron from another motherboard. This apron here and this apron here. So this up, I remove these covers. That where one here covering the screen, the panel board, this one here. So let's turn on the TV and check if any of these components getting hot. So when the TV turns on. I wait till the TV turns on. So all you have to do just watch the backlight. And now I can keep testing. So check if any part getting hot. So this side. So wait for it to turn on. Yeah, backlight is okay. Something is warm here. Yeah, something is warm here. More than the anything else. Yep, yep. Something is warm here. Yeah, something is very hot. We can unplug this one. So we disconnect this part of the screen and we're going to see if we have any picture or any change can you plug the TV so the TV turns on yeah and we will see if it stay on if it's or it's going to go off like before yeah so 
usually it's go off when it gets bright but now it's stay on oh. do we have the picture yep but 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 half screen have the picture and half doesn't yeah okay hold on yeah we have the picture over there yeah but the other one does not but we have a big gap yeah big gap here where where is that component yep where is this board is yeah like half like like up here yeah right up there it has no picture right yeah okay so because we disconnect this board yeah picture we don't have it from here yeah all the way to here yep exactly you can see this line yeah 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 and it's right over there but we have a good picture on the other side you can see source yeah so now we find out the problem it's here yeah we just we're going to see what component getting melted and uh, we see if we can do anything to that one yep so one of these components is getting hot so let's see which ones I don't know which one is hot. No, 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 I see something. So it's like going off and on. It looks like yeah, it's, it's like something getting hot here. But turning off and on. Yeah, something getting hot, but I still can't figure out which one. It's off, it's not on. Still going on and off. Yeah. So 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 maybe one of Well well the others are good, but that one Yeah, something here. So you can figure it out. Yeah, we're gonna use the lamp and we use the the flux just to see what uh, component is it's getting melting. hot. Yes. Okay, I need some little flux on this resistor here. So plug it in. So we're going to test one of them if they will melt. Okay, unplug it. Yeah. Unplug it. So what are you, we did see? This one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here, plus this one here, all melted. All, all of them melt? At the same time, yeah. Here, let's try again. Wait. Let me see if they will melt. Wait, wait. So I need to put the flux on it. Oh! Yep. Yeah, I, I see it just melt. Yep, so get it. So that might be a problem. That is getting hot. Yep. Okay, do it again. Oh, that one's so okay. quick. Okay. That's it. So this one here. Yeah. So oh. what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this one. Then change it to a different board? No, I just say remove this one and see if that's going to fix the problem. Because all these four resistors, maybe it's connected to this one. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see. Say a little before. We're going to use the solder iron to remove these four resistors. Oh. Maybe we, I, I remove one by one. Yeah, let's do one by one to see. Be careful. So you're going to take all of them? Or just okay. those three? Ooh, you have a lot of minutes. Be sure not in short it here. Yep. Then let's try again if it will melt. We're gonna try again if we have picture. Yeah, if we have all of the 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 picture works. If just half it. Still on. So let's see. We have the picture. Yeah. Yes. Is it getting hot here? No. Not getting hot? Yes. Yeah, we have the full picture now. And this is what the resistor we re you see that Yep, I see it. Yeah, that resistor I just disconnected and just solder it to one side so I don't lose it in case if it's uh, not the problem. But it's look like the TV turns on and works. Yep. No half screen. There is no help. Oh, the full screen works. Yep. Let's see. Well, maybe you still have to check if, if yes. it works. You never know if it will work. So it doesn't get hot here. It's mean it's good. And let's see. How is the picture looks? The picture, oh. something going on. Yeah, we had the picture, but it won't talk. Oh, there. I just saw the logo. That's all. So you see it? We have the picture. Oh, 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 did this one was off the eternal back. Yeah. Wait, why does that... I just saw something. Let's see how long it's going to stay on. If it stays on, it works. Yeah, you see some... Oh, yeah, I just saw the light. Then the picture goes off. Then on, off. So maybe that's a problem. So we're going to take another resistor. Just that one that, that all of them were connecting. So let's take this one here. And we'll leave it over there.
let's see. see. Maybe it's not really plug in good. Okay. We have picture. Let's see how good, how long the picture is going to be. It's going good. Let's wait a little bit. Let's wait more. Oh, I see it flicker. I see it flicker again. Oh yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. it's flickering again. Mhm. Mm I'm falling. Yep. Yeah, flicker more. Then picture goes off. Let's let's try the third one. Yep, let's remove the third resistor. Let's try again. So we have the picture. Good. Looking good so far. Let's give it a minute. Yep. Looks like it's working. It said it's going to flicker. Look like it's not. It's not flickering. Yeah. Which I, uh, yeah, it's not flickering. May we wait for a little bit? Let's give it another. To make minute. sure. Yes. Then we take the four resistor. What do you think? I don't I think know. We take the four resistor is better. So the first one wasn't. The so second we, one doesn't. We take the four resistors. Let's check the four resistor and see. Yeah, the picture works good now. I yeah, no maybe the, 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 the fourth one will, will work very good. Yeah, let's... Let's try. Let's take the fourth one. Oh, this some was... The fourth one is out. Let me solder the top of this. So I don't want it to be touching it. So why don't we try I put in the the floss in again then it's, it's not gonna get hot.
Okay. So the picture looks good. I did remove the four resistors. Picture looks great. Yeah. Well, it's the same picture. But now we just, we are sure the TV is not going to have the flickering issue. Yeah, the picture looks good. Yeah. But I never know if it will work or not. No, it will work. Picture looks good. So that what was I remove all that four resistors and I just say put them on the side over there is solder just one side you know in case if uh, if it won't work you know, in case if for any reason I want to put them back yeah we can be set there that's all so let's put the TV together so now we're going to plug plug this and TV connected to the internet, fine. Let's see if it will work. Oh, let's go to SOS fix. So that's the video yesterday.